Joy, this is such a treat to participate in this tribute video for our favorite person in the whole world. I'm Rose Thompson with Butcher Josephine Company. I first met Jim back in 2016. We were introduced to Jim as a potential resource for him as he was thinking through his succession plan with the company, Midwest Equipment. And I'm honored to say that our firm helped him sell the company to his employees through that employee stock ownership plan that we set up. My favorite thing about Jim is his heart. I have never met a more charismatic and genuine person than Jim. The way he cares for everyone around him has truly made the world a better place, in my humble opinion. Uh, my favorite memory about Jim is literally the day he announced to all of the employees at Midwest that he was selling the company to them through an employee stock ownership plan. In our line of work, we get to see those meetings occur all the time. And I will tell you, I have never experienced a more memorable rollout to the employees than with Jim's announcement to his team. So I am just so thrilled that we were able to help him. I am even more thrilled to know him because Jim, you are a gem of a human being and I am so thankful to know you. Congrats, my friends. Hey Jim, Chris Tiarla here. How you doing? I heard the folks at Midwest were, wanted to do a tribute for you, and I absolutely wanted to be part of it. I just wanted to say, first of all, how much I've appreciated your partnership over the years with McDonald's and absolutely getting to know you through the Ronald McDonald House. It has been a great ride. You're a great guy. And one of the things that I always remember and appreciate about you in particular is you are a yes guy. You figure out ways to say yes and get things done as it relates to the Ron McDonald House, as it relates to your time, as it, re as it relates to McDonald's and helping out the operators. So I just wanna say, fantastic job. Uh, you're a great guy. And look at, even, uh, even my man Snoop thinks the same thing. So just wanna say thanks. Where's your Snoop? Take care. Jim, welcome to the club. Congratulations, very well deserved. Um, you meant a lot to this company and um, we're gonna miss you for sure. You take care. Hey Jim, only met you a couple of times. The first time was somewhere in the mid 2000s. We were in Chicago, I was with Rob Ryder from DSL. By the way, I'm Dave Retz from DSL, now retired as well. But uh, we were in uh, Don Shula's downtown Chicago and man you made an impression on me that night that uh, lasted it's lasted until today I again went to visit Danny Williams down at your office in 2018 and uh, when I walked through the door saw you and, and it's like you knew me, which amazed me. And we sat in the boardroom and chatted. You know, I, I'm so so happy and gracious that you gave time to me. And uh, anyways, I wish you all the best in your retirement. You deserve every bit of it. Enjoy and have all the best times you can. I'm out. Hey Jim, congratulations on your retirement. I just want to say one of the things that sticks out uh, about you to me is you've always been so welcoming, a great mentor to uh, younger guys like me coming into the business. You always uh, have kind words and fun stories to share to make sure the Taylor Network stays strong. I really appreciate all you've done for me and PSBL, uh, the kind words, the wisdom, the friendship. I hope you enjoy your retirement and I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Congratulations. Jim, congratulations, man. Uh, I feel like being part of the council, that this is about the third or fourth time I've gotten to do a retirement celebration or dinner with you. You deserve all of them and more. I have always so admired your amazing passion for this business and your amazing passion for your team and your people. You're their biggest champion, their biggest advocate, and it shows in the amount that they you know, care for you and the love that they have for you. I hope that you have a 
fulfilling and wonderful retirement. And I hope that we still get the chance to see you a lot around the Taylor circles and at the Taylor meetings. All the best, my friend. I've learned a ton from you. And uh, this network, I and I think all of the other distributors wouldn't be the same without your impact. Thank you. Thank you so much. And all the best, sir. I tried to come up with one word that describes Jim Schrammick and the most descriptive word I can come up with is passion. Jim has always been passionate about the industry, about Midwest equipment, his employees, his friends. And I think that's what I'm going to miss the most. I know he instilled that into a lot of his employees. I'm one of them. And in retirement, I know it's going to have to be redirected, be it to Ronald McDonald House or the grandkids or wherever it may be. But uh, I know they're going to be the beneficiaries of that passion that will continue. I just want to say uh, thanks for the almost 29 years together. It's gone by in the blink of an eye. Uh, Thanks for having me along for the ride, and I'll miss you. Hello, Jim. Alan Rubin, Lena McLean. Congratulations on your retirement. I'm so happy for you. Um, I wanted to take this time to personally thank you for all you have done for Lena McLean and me personally. Uh, when Bruce Lane passed away, you got on the phone and said, Alan, get your behind up to our company. And uh, you allowed me to spend three days with all of your uh, leadership team members. You invited me to your leadership team meeting and my takeaway when I came back was uh, how, what is the right way to run a Taylor distributorship. So thank you for that. Uh, uh, thank you for all my late night calls and the weekend calls for your direction and uh, recommendations. Uh, we're a better company for it. I'm a better person for my relationship with you. Uh, uh, we will not disconnect and uh, I wish you and your family all the best for a great retirement. Thank you, Jim. Hey, Jim, I just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. And thank you for all the opportunities that you've given me and my family over the past few years. You believed in me from the beginning and I hope I never let you down. Again, congratulations. May you and Linda enjoy retirement together, and here's to you, buddy. Thank you. Jim Tramick. How do I describe Jim Tramick? Um, on, a, on a professional level, the most passionate, dedicated, loyal people I've ever worked with. And on a personal level, the most kind, giving, and caring person. Um, who else could tell you their employees' dogs' names or their nephews' names? Um, but that's the kind of person you are uh, to everyone. You care, and we're definitely going to miss that about you. Um, we're going to miss seeing you around as often as we have in the past, but wish you so much fun and, and a great retirement. Um, you deserve it. We will see you around, though, I'm sure. Jim Schrammick when he bought Midwest Equipment, a company many, many years ago. And I started doing business with him a few years after that. So I had the pleasure of watching Jim grow Midwest into uh, just an amazing company and also grow as a business person. During those years, he actually also grew to be one of my best friends. In regard to my favorite memory of Jim. There's been so many, it's hard to narrow it down to one. We had some really wonderful times on our rooftop trips to Chicago and the bus ride up there and back. We had some amazing laughs at some charity dinners over the years, some Lake of the Ozarks trips, and also a wonderful vacation to the Dominican Republic. So those are memories I will always have of all the fun times and laughs. I also wanted to say that Jim is one of the most 
generous people I've ever met in my whole life. And I think that is just such an incredible thing. And it makes it so much fun to be his friend. So, Jim, congratulations on your retirement. I look forward to hanging with you for many years to come. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Jim. I wish I could be there in person to deliver this message, but it wasn't possible. So I know you understand. Uh, I'll keep this brief, but it's going to be difficult because it's hard to do when you're talking about a career such as that's yours, <clears throat> which has had so much success and has touched so many people. Um, your integrity, your enthusiasm, uh, and all that you do and how you put people first and customers first has been a, has been a model for others to follow. Um, I can remember back when you first started selling Taylor equipment uh, in, in Colorado uh, at, at Derby uh, Restaurant Supply. Um, I flew out there and met with you and John Rabando and, and we called on customers and, and uh, it, was a, it was really a learning experience for all of us, I think. So you've had so many different aspects of your career that have been successful, uh, whether it be with Carts of Colorado or at Ice Craft in, Craft in Rockton. Um, and I think that uh, uh, you know how many people you've touched and, and, and you know that you're looked at as being one of the best tailored distributors of all time. And I feel privileged and honored to have been, uh, to have known you and to have worked with you and to call you my friend. So Jim, you and Linda have earned this. Enjoy your retirement. Um, and I know you will. Uh, and I will definitely see you soon. Take care, my friend. Hey, Jim. Man. Your retirement continues. Uh, it's all good, man. Uh, uh, favorite thing about you? Honesty. You're just direct. There's no BS. You just tell it like it is. And uh, uh, I don't have one favorite memory of you, Jim. I have several. Uh, from the you know distributor meetings, hanging out, you know, just conversations back and forth. Some of our best practices stuff. Loved, loved every bit of it. You helped me learn this industry uh, and uh, kind of a mentor for me. So you will be missed in my book. So enjoy your retirement. Have a great time. Uh, if there's anything I can ever do, please feel free to reach out. Take care. Hi, Jim. It's Karen. I guess you kind of remember me. It's been a few years since I've been there, but happy for you. You get to uh, join the ranks of the rest of us entire folks. You're going to love it and you so well deserve it. Um, a couple things about Jim. He is the only employer I have ever worked for that would come around every morning or whenever he came in the office to go around to every individual employee and ask them how they're doing, what's new, or how's your mom, how's your kids, how's your grandbabies. He was such a personable person and that's what I love most about him. Very intelligent. I mean, he's just and so giving and thoughtful. When um, I remember one time, I guess I'd been working there about five years and we had a terrible snowstorm. And my mom called and she goes, boy, you guys better close up and come home. It, it, the roads are bad. So Jim come walking down through the hall and I went out to tease him. I go, well, Jim, mom says we need to close up. He goes, well, then that's what we'll do. So he says, he went around and told everybody we're closing because Karen's mom said it was too bad for everybody to be out. But he was just a lot of fun. Um, and I just don't even know how thankful I am to know this man, an extraordinary person. And another story I have is when almost, well, I can't hardly even talk about it. Almost lost our granddaughter to drowning. He said, whatever you need, whatever you need to do, take off as much time as you, you want. That's the kind of person Jim Stramick is. Another time, uh, my mom had to have hip surgery and there's no one else to care for her but me. And um, I was all upset thinking I'm gonna lose my job and everything else because we're about in the middle of the CO2 9 p.m. rollout. But he allowed me to work from home for three weeks and I worked from home and did the CO29 program from there. I mean, what kind of employer does that and doesn't hold it against you? Anyway, Jim, so, so happy for you. You so deserve to have this retirement. 
You take care, and I sure hope that we cross paths again sometime. Thanks. One of the things I loved about working for Jim is family always came first. When I was diagnosed with cancer and I went in to tell him about it, he gave me a big old hug and said, BJ, whatever you need, you can have. Just let us know what you need. And it was really comforting to know I didn't have to worry about my job while I was going through my treatments. I wish you all the best in your retirement, Jim. You deserve the best. Congrats on your retirement. Uh, I want to thank you for, for bringing me on board at Midwest Equipment and showing me the ropes. Um, your leadership is irreplaceable. Um, you helped me out so many times when I was in a bind and made things happen for me. Uh, nothing I could say could express my gratitude for that. Um, you also helped me a lot in my personal life, man. You're, you're not only a great boss, but you're a great friend. Uh, wish you nothing but the best in life. Uh, I'll be in touch. Hey, Jim, it's Adam Seneca. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have known you and your wife. You're a great man. Wish you all the best in your retirement and on your next adventure. Jimmy, I've known you for over 40 years, or close to 40 years. I think we met on a sales incentive trip, and that's where you taught me how to drink beer. Now you're trying to teach me how to drink wine. But seriously, Jimmy, all through our sales careers and our distributorship owners, you have always been one of the people that I could pick up the phone day or night, call you, and we would hash out whatever we need to talk about, issues, ideas, whatever. And you are always there with your good advice. I always appreciate all the advice and help you've given me over the years. But one of the most important things I appreciate is when my employee Jody passed away on vacation. She was one, of course, that did all my counting and payroll, plus a letter to the other things. You sent Claire up to my distributorship for three or four weeks so she could help with payroll and accounting. That was a godsend, Jimmy. Retirement, I hope you and Linda are able to enjoy for years and years and do anything you want to do. But remember to keep in contact with everybody. Hey, Jimmy boy. Here's my personal tribute coming out to you from Freddie. I, by the way, I love your mugshot. It, it captures your spirit. You've been a good buddy for many, many years. The way our ranks keep thinning out, I hope we can stay this way for a long, long time. So that's my tribute, Jim. God bless you, and uh, look forward to seeing you right, right along the road. Thanks. Hello, Jim. Greg D. Kemper here. How are you? Hey, congratulations again on your retirement. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm going to miss you at the party on the 22nd. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a momentous event and one that will be uh, appropriate to honor you for your, your many, many years of success. Uh, Jim, you and I haven't known each other uh, all that long, um, but when I see your name or have a chance to talk to you or when we're together, uh, the, the thing that comes to mind is always your caring heart uh, and your generosity and your giving uh, to those around you. You know, you and I got to know each other uh, at Ronald McDonald House and your, uh, your giving there, uh, not only financially, but also of your time, is just over the top. And, you know, it's truly uh, valuable to the people that Ronald McDonald House is, is trying to help. And then, um, you know, I've been around a few business transactions in my day, but your uh, ESOP transaction with the Midwest employees, uh, it's the first successful one that I've seen. And I think that, you know, you probably could have done something different and probably could have gotten a little bit more money, but um, it just says so much that what was the most important thing to you was sharing um, with 
those that had done the heavy lifting and it helped to make you uh, successful over the years. And uh, that just speaks volumes about who you are and what's important to you um, and the values that you have. And uh, Jim, I am really, really proud to call you a friend and to call you a colleague. And again, I wish you the, the very, very best going forward. Congratulations. Hi, Jim. Just wishing you health and happiness in your retirement. And I want to thank you for taking me under your wing, showing me the ropes over the last three years. And just because you're retired doesn't mean I'm not going to keep calling you with questions. You said I could, and I have. I probably talk to you more now that you're retired than when you were working here. So I just wanted to say thank you, and uh, we will take care of uh, your legacy and uh, appreciate being a part of it. Jim, thank you for all you've done for Freddy's and our brand for so, so many years. You have always been a man of your word, and we really appreciate it. And on these challenging times, it's great to have someone like Jim on your side. So thank you. On another note, we've always had a great relationship as a supplier and a user, but really more importantly, I consider you truly a friend and that's a lifelong thing. So thank you very much. And I wish you well on your retirement. Hi, Jim, this is Jay Sipper from the Broster Company. I just wanted to say congratulations to you and to your family on your retirement. Uh, this is awesome for you and I'm so excited for you and what you have looking forward to in the future. You've meant a lot of, to the Broster Company, uh, to the ownership and to myself, not only for being a distributor of the Broster products, but also be, be becoming really a loyal friend of mine and uh, many of the owners on, on the organization. Um, if I were to look back and say one funny story that I had, it was probably uh, uh, getting together with you and Bando and Dick Schrank and uh, being in a conference room at the Hyatt at Rosemont and discussing quotas. And I can say that was a uh, very uh, uh, interesting conversation, but uh, at the end of the day, we came to agreement, which we always did. Um, one of the most important things for me, and again, is you became a friend of mine. Um, we were able to share different things and you were able to uh, uh, give me advice as it came to uh, how to work with uh, the grocery company and the distributors overall. And I appreciate that and I appreciate you more than you know. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the future, but wish you the best and every all of your endeavors, endeavors going forward. And I uh, can't wait to see what's in store for you. So congratulations to you and Linda and uh, see you in a couple of weeks and best of luck. Congratulations. A long time and you have always been focused on not only Midwest Equipment Company's success but also on what's best for the Taylor Distributor Organization as a group and the Taylor Factory as well. You exhibit a heartfelt enthusiasm in everything you do and it is contagious for all those around you. Your engaging personality, biz business acumen, and sense of humor have combined to make you a real pleasure to have worked with for all these years. Best of luck to you and Linda as you embark on this next great adventure. Congratulations, Jim. Jim, sorry I won't be able to make your party. Um, it's been a lot of road, a lot of fun, a lot of good laughs. You always made everybody laugh. I uh, reminisce about the time you were with Brian Walsh and you guys bantering back and forth and all I know is I, I was crying, I was laughing so hard. But, you know, on a professional note, what I've always respected the most is the passion you have for your customers, for your employees, for your people. Uh, you're an example to everybody in our organization. And uh, Midwest Equipment Company, you should be, you and your people built one of the biggest, best tailored distributorships in the world. You should be very proud. So as you and Linda embark on your retirement, I wish you the best. Kick back, have fun. Don't forget about us. We're gonna have more fun, more laughs.
God bless you, my friend. Hey, Jim, congratulations on your retirement. I am on like video number 50, trying to get it right. There's so much to say and just can't seem to get the right words out. Um, I am so fortunate to have had the opportunity of working with you um, throughout the years. You've been such a mentor to so many people such a wonderful sounding board. You are so loyal to the brand and to your fellow distributors. You have created such an awesome company at Midwest Equipment Company that we are also fortunate to work with and will continue to work with for years to come, I have no doubt. I am so happy for you and Linda. We wish you all the best. We hope that you come and visit. Uh, we will come and visit as well. Let us know when you're down in the Naples area and be sure to, you know, keep in touch. We love you to pieces and hope to see you soon. Take care. Hi, Jim. My, uh, my favorite thing about you is the very fact that back in aught six, you hired me. Uh, I came to you, uh, applied for the service manager job. You hired me and the rest is history. Uh, I didn't know what I was doing then, and uh, 11 years later, when I uh, when I hung it up, I'm not sure if I really knew much more. But you stuck with me, and I stuck with you, and it it turned out great. Um, Jim, your legacy is that uh, you touched so many lives, and every one of them, they uh, you, you you've left you've, you've left the world. Uh, a better place for those that you've touched. I wish the best to you and Linda in your retirement and uh, God bless and we'll see you. Hi Jim, Joe Strychars with Butcher Joseph. Congratulations to you and the entire Midwest Equipment team on all that you guys do to promote the employee ownership model. Hats off to you Jim for all you've done for you both your employees, family, etc. You truly exemplify what it means to be an employee-owned company. Best to you and the whole entire Midwest equipment team. Thanks, Jim. Hey, Jim. Scott Nicholas. Uh, I guess this must be your 13th or 14th retirement uh, program, uh, and I'm happy to uh, contribute uh, seriously. Uh, it's been um, a, a lifelong pleasure to have you uh, as such a good friend, uh, both personally and in business. Uh, Sue and I have loved uh, all the time that we've had a chance to be with you. Uh, if I think about um, uh, fun stories uh, when uh, we go all the way back to Barbados and uh, meeting you and Bando and, and all of the A-team there and seeing you uh, uh, run up and down the beach chasing goats with your swimsuit hardly uh, hanging onto your waist. Uh, it's a great image to start the, uh, the partnership. Uh, going to uh, Cabo and having my accident and having you uh, pull me out of the uh, Sea of Cortez um, will be with me forever. Uh, having your uh, random calls come in um, with a problem or just to say hi and uh, thinking about the, uh, the villas that you and Linda and Sue and I will uh, move into uh, shortly. It's been uh, great memories and great stories. You know, uh, our lives are all about the stories and uh, who we get a chance to, uh, to be with throughout our, our lives. And we're lucky enough to have you uh, with us. And uh, I know you're not going anywhere and I keep telling you that I need to be uh, invited to the 39th retirement party. Uh, so I look forward to that uh, in the years to come. You take care. You're the best. See ya. Congratulations on the retirement, Jim. Well done. Just want to thank you for always being there. You've always been a great wealth of knowledge as I've learned this business. As far as the uh, favorite time with Jim, that, there's just too many. Every time we get together would be a favorite time. Again, congratulations, job well done. Hi, Jim, Amy here. I just wanted to 
lend my voice to your farewell video. You deserve it so much. I've had such a joy full time working with you since our early days when you were with Icecraft here in Rockton. Um, just through the years, you've lit up a room, you've been that fun, solid guy throughout all that time. 33 years ago, I think I met you. Ah, uh, the after hours antics are too numerous to mention. Uh, I remember when you got your pocket picketed, pickpocketed, <laughs> you got pickpocketed in uh, New Orleans. And fortunately that was before 9-11. Wasn't a funny situation, but um, you handled it like a pro. You still kept a smile. You still told jokes just like you always do. And, Gosh, we're going to miss you. I know we'll see your face around uh, from time to time and that this isn't goodbye, but I do want you to enjoy your very, very well-deserved retirement. Cheers to you. Hello, Jimmy. I'm so happy to hear about your retirement. I'm wishing you and Linda the best, but I'm quite happy that you are because every time we go out to dinner, you look like this. You have nothing in your pocket, and I always say, why don't you go in your back pocket? There should be some money in there. And you go in your back pocket, and this is what you see. I don't get it. <laughs> but thank God you're retiring. I love you. Wish you the best. Hey, Jim. Just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement. And thank you, thank you, thank you for the 24 years of memories. Um, you are one of my mentors. I've learned so much from you over the years and became a much better person because of it. Thanks again and happy retirement. I'm always here if you need a part number. Thanks. Hey, Jim, congratulations. I can't think of a better person that deserves a long, healthy, happy retirement. So again, congratulations. My favorite thing about you, Jim, is simply that you hired me. Um, you brought me into this great company. You, you uh, developed uh, and grew a very, very good company. I think my favorite thing about you is not one particular incident. It's all those times you walked around the corner and walked into my office and said, you want to do lunch? All those great conversations and uh, world problems we solved in those lunch times, uh, I will cherish forever. Again, congratulations. Hey Jim, congratulations. It was a gas working with you the last six years of my career and uh, find something you really enjoy and do it the rest of your life. Thanks. Jim, just wanted to say congratulations on your retirement and also to say thank you. You gave me the opportunity to be a part of Midwest Equipment Company eight and a half years ago and I am very thankful for that. Wishing you many years of health and happiness. Cheers from Southwest Missouri. Hey Jim, congratulations on a great co career. Um, I'm certainly uh, happy that we've become friends because of your business with TaylorMade and the association with McDonald's, but more important, I tremendously value your friendship and how kind you've been to my family and I through the years and your incredible generosity to the Ronald McDonald House. Cheers to you, my buddy. Love you. Hi, Jim. Well, you finally did it. I am so, so very happy for you. Um, when we first met on a rooftop at a Cards Cubs game back in the 1990s, the mid-1990s, I could never have imagined that we would be where we are today. Um, it has been absolutely remarkable to watch you build Midwest into this amazing company that it has become. Your passion, your commitment to your customers and to your employees, uh, your unlimited generosity and your deep faith 
have been an inspiring example to me and to so many other people um, who have been able to be a part of your life. I want to thank you so much for making me your partner, um, but most importantly, for your dear, dear friendship, which I truly, truly cherish. It's so, so very important to me. You are extraordinary. You are one of a kind. Um, and I feel so very, very blessed to have you in my life. Congratulations. May all the many, many, many years ahead surround you with family and friends and laughter and love and all the rewards that you deserve from all of the work that you did to build this organization into the extraordinary company that it is today. So congratulations, Jim Schrammick. You sure as heck deserve it. Jim, I hope you get many, many more sunny days every day sunny for you in your retirement and build a lot more great memories. The first time I met you at a sales trip, I could, uh, your personality was as large as you were with a heart of gold and uh, a lot of fun. We had so many great memories. My favorite memory was this year at the distributor meeting in the beautiful Hawaii and uh, when you were awarded that ring. I think we all felt that sense of accomplishment uh, for you. And um, way to go. And I look forward to seeing, seeing you soon. Hey, Jim, it's all of us at Taylor checking in with you like you do with us. Happy, Happy retirement, retirement, Jim! Jim.